Hello, and uh, I'm delighted to welcome Hi, today David. to our little platform here, Nathan. Hello, Nathan. Hello, sir. Greetings. Are you well? Always, always a pleasure to see you there. Likewise, and, sir. Uh, so today we're going to be discussing social media and AI in the taxi industry. Um, as part of Take Me, um, Nathan works with us. Um, he's part of our whole marketing package and uh, so certainly understands the, the taxi trade. And Nathan, well, you've been doing some strange and weird and wonderful creativity for us um, on social media, TikTok, uh, and marketing videos, etc. cetera. Uh, so for those that are just venturing into social media um, to promote their taxi businesses, um, can you give us the basics? Uh, we'll start off with the what not to do's and then you know what to do to get an interest and that engagement and that branding that we all need as we've moved away from newspaper advertising and leafleting etc in this digital world of ours indeed well thank you thank you for the introduction um it's it's changed so quickly and i think as well when you look at social media in general and and how things have come on even if we, we're talking about the ai and social media even like the last six months six to eight months with when people think of AI a lot of people only really think of chat GPT um, mm. if they know anything some people still I'd say most people won't I don't even know if I asked my know. father or you know what chat GPT was uh, he did think I don't know it was a, a computer game or something I'm not sure but exactly. most people watching this video will probably not have a clue what chat GPT is indeed well so, so chat GPT is essentially um, an artificial intelligence that you can ask incredibly detailed questions you can ask it to help you write scripts you can ask it to help you write code or debug code um, if you're feeling down you can have a chat to it about how to pick you up it's it's very very difficult to not believe that you're actually talking to a, a real intelligent yeah human. it's interesting isn't it because they, they say it's going to replace doctors as well isn't it for medical right. advice and actually uh, the last valentine's day february the 14th i actually sent my good lady a lovely poem about how beautiful she was and she thought it was amazing but in reality i just want to put and put in you know her age her, her plus bits and uh uh, and what, what I like about her, that she makes me laugh and things. And made this beautiful poem. And then I thought, well, if it's done a poem, perhaps it could write a song about her. And uh, yeah, I got addicted. But of course, you've gone beyond that level, haven't you? In, in I have. I have. I've become a tragic and sad geek staying up to a stupid o'clock, um, doing all kinds of things down the AI rabbit hole. And so you have your kind of text-based chat chappy tea stuff, which a lot of people know about. But, but there's some very, very clever things going on um, with video, with images, and it's it's expanding so fast. And a, and a very good example, I think, when we talk about what to do and what not to do, a lot of a lot of the, the taxi companies, if you look out there, the standard thing is a picture of your car by the train station. Um, sorry, I nodded off there a little bit. And, um, or, you know, just sitting in the back of the car. <sighs> Nobody, nobody cares, nobody cares. And and I think more and more with the, the TikTok type generation to get people to care is is harder and harder and harder. You know, a lot of people will look but not like anymore when you know they just won't hit the button, they just oh, I need the next 15 seconds. So so what we've started to do, and we've been working on it for a while, but it's it's not as easy as it sounds. Say for example, pictures. So when when people are scrolling, you want to create something that stops them dead, um, like mm. what he's like looking at. And yeah, because so you're absolutely right. I've noticed now watching my kids. I mean, initially with social media, it was like, oh look, there's there's that bar down the road, a picture of the bar, like you say, a picture of the bar, a picture of a taxi. Yeah. But now it, it, it's evolved into like a, a second generational thing of social media, where it is literally that isn't it flipping through the videos and uh, right. if it doesn't grab their attention it's gone it's gone it's gone yeah no massively yeah. And, and, I, and i also believe that half the time if they watch it given half an hour it's gone anyway <laughs> you know what i mean yeah. it's just because of the way in which they they digest it um mm. you know and that's certainly based on the conversations i'll have with my kids sometimes <laughs> do you remember that no okay um i blame tiktok so 
so we, we, we tried to do some things and I think this month is a good example. We've got um, aliens at the train station. Um, and it looks like, aliens. you've seen the picture, the, you've seen the aliens, it looks like a, a fantastic studio shot that would have cost a fortune to make with a man and two real aliens behind him. And you're like, what the hell are you looking at? And, and it stops you to, to read to read what's going on. Um, but that whole, you need a quick exit with a, which is the idea, maybe you want a taxi. There's a nice picture of a tiger about to eat this man and he's on his phone. So it's just trying to create things or need a taxi quick. And we've got a guy parachuting out the sky and it look, it doesn't look like a drawing. It looks like a real photograph. Um, but again, just to engage you. What you're saying is we're now producing quality. The quality is that good that years ago we would have had to get Disney or Pixar to, to create it. Whereas now, Mr. AI in front of me. In fact, are you actually real, Nathan? Are you there? <laughs> are you but I know you are real. At the moment, at the moment. Give me another few moment. moments. <laughs> but we'll all be replaced <laughs> eventually by AI. Exactly, exactly. But it, but it, but it really is, and a lot of. I mean, it must be quite. I mean, much in the same way for copywriters, a lot of which have been blown out the water with um, losing jobs to AI, with ChatGPT, write me a blog on this or mm. whatever. Although those things still, there, there are certain things you have to be careful of because Google can detect, detect blogs written by AI and sometimes mm. punish you. So there are processes in place to kind of not make it lazy, but for general content, it works. Sound, um, you know, taking people's voices, creating your own audio with artificial intelligence. I mean, really when you think about it, our taxi company now, um, you know, a huge percentage of calls are answered by AI. Yeah. Um, eventually, our accounts team will be replaced by AI. Um, driverless cars, uh, everything yeah. will all going to be replaced. But I, I think we should shut up shop, David, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you later. Let's go. <laughs> Take me out of here. Exactly. Um, but, you know, how does this trans translate into something tangible then? So you mentioned, obviously you can create these things. Have you got anything that you can show us, Nathan? In light of our semi-impromptu -im meeting, I have cobbled very roughly um, mm -hmm. some, some snapshots. If I'd had a little bit more time, I, I would put the, what you're gonna see is um, a lot of content that's created, created with base video. And that base video has then been taken picture by picture into AI and had over time a conversation that says, right, well, I actually want it to do this. I want it to look like this. I want it to okay, change. so you, 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 with your camera, you've, let's say, taken a picture of one of our taxis, a video, yes. a station, wherever. You've put it into the AI and then manipulated it to how you want it to look. With exactly. A, so, a tiger or, or indeed. So, so what you'll see is some rough bits. So on one particular bit, I've just taken a, a piece of stock footage from um, one of the companies where it's just a guy sitting there on the phone and then he gets in the car. And the idea is that this is the base element of it, but I would cut in between real life and the AI to kind of make it a little bit more engaging. But what, you, what you're finding and what you're looking at is stuff that a, a year ago would have cost you thousands to, to make or reproduce. Mm. Um, and you know, you still need a lot of processing power from a computer point of view, but it, it's possible. So, so we're going to look at the kind of videos that if you, if you look at the moving video on these, if you think about, we can take you anywhere and you're using real film and then we can take you anywhere, literally anywhere. Um, and then the other type of, of image that you'll see on here is where we take a still image and that image takes you on a journey. So you'll see it going from a, you know, we take you to a, a party, to a club. And the first image that I've done, David, is one where, again, we already do things that are more engaging than her, tap the app. You know, we don't do that. I think the first video we've got here is you trapped in an iPhone, if you remember. That's right, trapped in an iPhone. Everyone thought I'm you were I'm not squatting size, by the way. I, you'll see in the video, I'm actually moving yeah. apps across and then, yeah. Indeed. And in the original video that, that you've seen, David, it, it, when you tap on the thing, it moves down to, you know, download the app and, and that kind of thing. But to launch this video, I've, it goes off into an AI journey. And this is how we'd be able to do anything, you know, whether it's open the car door, tapping on the phone in the street or whatever it might be, you could just freeze it there and then go. And, and, and in light of that, you're creating something that is really, really quite engaging. But when you're talking about people who haven't seen the likes of ChatGPT, they'll look at this and go, oh my God, how, where, how do you even do that? 
you know so so it sort of draws you in to watch it okay and well, at, the, at the end of the video as well i'll also go we've also taken some some video of a taxi um and tried to edit it again into something engaging and if you look at any of the videos that are out there mostly for taxis they're a bit dull and they're a bit dreary um so we've again just tried to spice them up really short little bites that make you watch them again so so there's a bit of a little show reel cobbled together very very quickly so there's some bad edits and some stuff but we uh without further ado whether that was a dream I had there or whether I was on drugs, but it's certainly it's certainly eye-catching and of course that was just a demo you yes. playing around with ideas in its, in its final format it's going to be a lot shorter isn't it because you've got yes that. of course yeah totally I mean for example one of the ones uh, I've been trying to trying to work on at the minute you know Spider-Man and the Spider-Verse is here um, at the cinema, which is a big film. And so it's just recording and you've got the Take Me logo in front and you shake your hand and then it all just becomes Spider-Man for a second. You shake it back and it's done. You know, but it's mm -hmm. it's that way of engaging people using it um, that I think is, is very different. And and I'm 99.9% very .9 sure that um, in a lot of ways, we're already much further ahead in the social media that we put out than, than a lot of the other taxi companies. Um, yeah, yeah. So this will just launch it um, again, um, I would have thought, massively. I mean, I was just going to say as well, I've got a couple of the, the AI images up on my screen, so I don't know whether if you want to, because we've just talked about those, but people haven't seen them. Can I do a screen share for a second? Yeah, let's do a bit of a screen share. Cool. So, so yeah, here's like a, a good example. That's a real studio picture. That would be hours and hours and hours of work. Um, but it's just, it's different. You you won't see another taxi company doing anything like that. And, you know, it, it does stop in the tracks. It does get a laugh. It's got a good post that goes with it. It's a little bit tongue in cheek. But interestingly, as well on the subject of AI, when I created that picture, it actually stopped just by the alien on the left's head. So mm -hmm. Photoshop now has got an AI beta. And I literally just made an extra piece of the picture and said, can you just finish this picture, please? And it finished the end of the alien's head and put that man in the background and, and just carried on the whole picture. I mean, it's just insane what it's capable of now. So it's kind of unique because right. a, a lot of people looking at that picture will think, oh, he's just used a bit of library picture from somewhere, but you've created that yourself. Completely, yeah. There's, I've got, I've got maybe five or six pictures before that because it, it's yeah. all about how you explain it to the AI and, and what you think is a good explanation nine times out of 10 is not. <laughs> So it, it, it will produce different, um, you know, you have to have a bit of a chat with it. Like, no, not exactly that. I don't mean alien in that way. It must look like a, you know, one of the terms I put in there is it needs to look like a GoPro selfie. So yeah, it's yeah. high resolution. And then the computer understands what I'm saying. Um, you know, put in the background, everything. It's, um, 
yeah, you have it's from scratch. That doesn't exist anywhere. It doesn't exist anywhere. Yeah, that, that truly is amazing. So um, let's just go and have a look at another picture you've created. Bear with me a second. Here we go. <laughs> so yeah, tell me about this one. So, so again, it was just an idea, you know, you need a taxi fast and believe it or not, you know, I've looked for pictures like this <laughs> and they didn't exist. So, uh, you know, I started with um, just trying to find out, it produced various different examples of people, but I really liked that one. It managed to get the phone and then we just put the, the, the Take Me um, app screen in afterwards. But, but again, when you're flicking through, it's not the norm and it's certainly not the norm for, for a taxi company. You know, yeah, you're just like, no, what the hell? What is that? And I think the other one, the last one I've uploaded is a video, which is an example of what we're running this month, which is some of the first AI, where it does take you on that journey. So you're listening to it and it's like, whatever you're doing, but you're kind of transfixed on what's happening on the screen um, mm -hmm. at the same time, if you see what I mean. So it, it, it's about how we, we can take anybody anywhere and we literally take them anywhere. Okay, let's have a look at that video. Regardless of your destination, be it a thrilling blockbuster at the movies, a joy-filled catch-up with a friend over drinks, a heart-pounding football match, a delectable dining experience at a fine restaurant, or even a lively shopping spree over the weekend, your journey matters to us. No matter your plans, we're at your service. The Take Me Group. We can take you anywhere. Amazing. Really is amazing. So, so where are we going to be? So this is now, and this is just the, and obviously AI is learning all the time. Where where will this take us in the next five years? Well, if you if you have a look, if you look back at, um, I mean, there was so much in that first video that I put together. One of the things you're seeing there is, as I said, I've got an exclusive access to a, a beta for this thing. I know, right? Let me just drop that on the floor there. Like, very cool, but it's, you you can't. You can't check it out, but it's, so you can essentially, I mean, just let this sink in. You can film something with a person and then completely take them out with AI and put in a model of whatever, be it a robot, be it a character that you design, um, and it will match the light. It will erase them from the picture completely. And you'll see that where there was the the two robots dancing and the robots walking down to the cab. Well, they're the real people opening that door. And again, that, that is thousands and thousands of pounds worth of, of studio production or 3D rendering work mm. that, you would, that you would take. It's hours and hours and hours of work that is now drag and drop on and, and, and take them out. Yeah. Um, so, so, God, so only that, know. Taxi companies now, private hire companies, chauffeur companies, just putting their phone number up with a, a picture of a car. Really, that's a bit too dumb, It's It's too dumb, isn't it? It is incredibly five D, massively. I mean, I, 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 you know, I pride, I pride ourselves on what we're able to achieve and, and the way in which we do it. And I think this now is just a whole new way. Um, and it's also you can have a lot of fun with it. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you know, one of one of the ideas, I, you know, if we had time, you could literally go into the streets and say, right, if you could go anywhere in a taxi, just, just film someone. Where would you go? Anywhere? What would it be? Imagine, you, imagination the limit. Whatever you want. And then they could say it, and then you pause it, and then whoosh, off that, off that picture goes, and takes them into that. You know, that's nice sort of TikTok reels, and sorry, TikTok and Instagram reels, th those kind of things. It's just like because you don't know what you're going to get, you know, from what they're going to say. You then make it into something. So th th the possibilities are are endless. But it, I think, w what will happen is over the next few months, because there are already apps out there that will do. A kind of a, a decent-ish job. They're not. You can tell straight away that they're not done the proper way. Um, mm. But but it will get easier. It will get easier to be able to have people just do it. But then then it's where you where it becomes clever is as we we merge them so you have the AI. So as that becomes mainstream, though, Nathan yeah. will be at the next. I'll be over there. Yeah, we'll, we'll be on. you'll be at the next station. Went for mainstream. Too, exactly. Uh, exactly. Well, imagine if you were, you know, you could just have looking out one window of the taxi or just the taxi itself just changes into something else and everything else is normal. But when you're looking through that window, you know, it's it's how we create the content. And I like to think that we do we, we do it better than than pretty much everyone. <clears throat> but um, well, it's just more engaging. Make me way. We try and be innovators. Exactly. Uh, bringing companies together and using the latest technology. And of course, if you have watched this and want to find out more about what Take Me can offer your business, then please 
drop us a line. Nathan, sadly, we've run out of time today, but I could sit here and probably will do carry on talking to you for hours. And uh, I always look forward to some of the creative ideas coming out. Uh, I think, um, you know, we, we try to think out of the box a little bit and you certainly fit that narrative. So Nathan, thank, thank you for for showing us those videos and some of the creativity work you've been working on. I'm just sad I didn't have enough popcorn to get through all the <laughs> illustrations. Um, next but, time, next time. All right. Next thank time. you very much. My absolute pleasure. Thank you, David. Take care.